All right, welcome back to week nine of iowaclassicsports.com, our webcast. And this is, of course, playoff pairings night. I have them right here in my hands. Before we go to those pairings, of course, our hometown team, Pleasantville, did make the playoffs tonight. We were at that game. Let's take a look at some of those highlights. Tell you what, we're going down to the hometown, going down to Pleasantville. And you know, I married a Pleasantville girl, and they're tough. And so what you do with them before the game is you let them just hold up the tarp because the tarp wasn't working. But you got to get out of the way, and here come the Trojans. Getting ready to get after it, and uh, boy, class 85, there's Brian Harkin, one of the studliest guys to ever graduate from Peabell. Pleasantville gets it going against this great Pella Christian team. They've had a great year. This is Isaiah Nutty finding some seams in the Eagle defense, and then Matt Stubbs, been a starter for three years, and he knows what to do. Find Travis Dufill and watch Trav. Nice catch, hangs on, nice move, gets in the end zone. Seven zip Trojans, Coach Horseman loves it, and the defense got a couple turnovers. They get it right back, and they get right back to the ground game. Maybe, yes, nutting, right side. Is he gonna take it to the house? No, cut back, knocked out of bounds, and then stubs to the air. All he does is throw touchdowns. This one to Scotty Bacon. Bacon having a great year. He's gutty, gritty, and he's money there. Trojans on top, 14 zip, and then Chase Dielman and Pella Christian gets going. Jerry Staten has done a great job with this program. It's so new, Dielman up top to Michael Dream Weaver. Nice catch by Michael there, 24 yard pass. And then Corey Nickel, maybe the best back in this district, he is tough. Coach, you'd take him on your team. You'd only have to play with six if you had him, but two-yard touchdown run. But the Trojans, too much tonight. They go on to win this one, 27 to 13. And you know, hey, there's Bill Prongy, great official too. Hey, Bill, what's going on? Coming up later on in the webcast, we will show you our plays of the year that was brought to you on the Blitz this year by Dave Z. So we'll get to those. Ankeny will host uh, Waukee, who will be coming off a loss, lost tonight at Marshalltown. And uh, the winner of that game plays the winner of Des Moines East and Southeast Polk. So if both home teams uh, hold serve there. We will see another rematch of that Ankeny Southeast Polk game, which has been a great rivalry the past two seasons. Of course, Marshalltown will travel to Newton. That'll be a good one. And Valley hosts Sioux City North. So expect uh, Coach Swinson and the boys to get that done. And the, over on the eastern side of the state, of course, Bettendorf, the number one team, unbeaten over there, ranked number one by most polls, uh, will be hosting Iowa City High, a daunting task for City High. And some other good matchups. Xavier will be at Cedar Falls. Of course, that one also will be in the Uni Dome on Wednesday night, a later start, 845. Let's move on to 3A now, and uh, boy, Harlan looks like they're almost unbeatable. Interesting here, Harlan hosts Lamar's. That's been a good rivalry. The last team to really uh, knock them out of the playoffs to do some damage. And uh, facing possibly Sioux City, Helan again. Helan wins their district, and their only loss, of course, this year to Harlan. So those two teams will meet prior to the Dome if they both win. Uh, locally here in Central Iowa, Pella travels to Boone. That'll be a fun matchup. DCG still alive, had a great year with Coach Heitland taking on Carlisle, and those two winners will meet. So that will be uh, uh, interesting to see who comes out winners there on Wednesday night. Let's take a quick glance at 2A. Moving on to 2A, Central Lion, George Little Rock, Toby Lorenzen, those guys looking to repeat. They will be hosting Eagle Grove, that game at Spencer on Wednesday night, taking on the winner of Hall Rock Valley and Esterville Lincoln Central, who won their district. Uh, also, some interesting notes, uh, Solon, Coach Kevin Miller, been ranked number two pretty much all year, still unbeaten. They host Mediapolis, the winner of that game, takes on the winner of Tipton-Wilton, which would be a great ball game to go check out down at Wilton. Let's move on to 1A, and of course our Trojans do get in, and uh, they get a little road, road trip uh, up to Brian Case and Lake City Southern Cal, who won uh, tonight. And that'll be a, a real interesting matchup when you consider uh, what will happen when those two districts hook up because South Hamilton comes down to take on uh, North Polk, whose only loss this year was to Pella Christian, and those winners of those two games will meet up. Hinton travels to Council Bluff St. Albert, and Logan Magnolia uh, gets uh, a, some traveling time, but it'll be halfway as they go to Storm Lake to take on Enwood West Lion. Uh, boy, I wouldn't want to try to pick that one. And maybe the best team in Class 1A right now playing the best uh, Iowa City Regina, winner tonight over Pekin. They will host Bellevue, and Pekin will travel to Northeast Goose Lake. So possibly Pekin and Iowa City Regina, after a uh, meeting tonight, could meet again if they both uh, find a way to pull off wins, which I think possibly could happen. Applington Parkersburg, a loser to Starmont, so they will travel to Mason City Newman, who's unbeaten. Keep an eye on them. And Starmont, who beat Applington, will host St. Ansgar. That should be a great game. St. Ansgar with three losses, but a quality football program. Let us move to Class A. Kia Lansing at Lisbon, North Trayer at uh, number one and unbeaten Wapsie Valley. The winner of those two games will play. Lisbon and Kia Lansing get a play at Wartburg on that cool turf, so that'll be a great matchup. And Britt West Hancock travels to Alta and Algona Garrigan taking on Newell Fonda. Garrigan playing great. They're still unbeaten, so keep an eye on them. But locally, maybe Randy Hinkle and Madrid uh, hosting HLV. That should be a, a tough task 
for HLV to come up to Madrid. Madrid playing great, and they will play the winner of North Mahaska and Wayland Waco. In eight man, who's better than Northeast Hamilton? Uh, the boys from Blairsburg uh, playing great football, beating Ventura on Thursday night. They host North Kasuth, so North Kasuth better pack a lunch when they head to Blairsburg on Tuesday night. And how about Melcher Dallas? The Saints in the playoffs, and uh, it should be fun as they uh, get a take on Grandview Park Baptist, who played uh, Tri County Thornburg in a and a game tonight that wasn't for any district play, but uh, Grandview Park Baptist and Tri-County Thornburg going to overtime before Tri-County getting the win. So that's a look at the playoff pairings. Uh, should be a lot of fun. We'll maybe come out with some predictions. Make sure you go in and click uh, down below and go to one of our forums and talk some playoff football. We'd love to have you along. Now let's end the webcast with our plays of the year that Dave Z put together on the Blitz.